feeling that this was going to happen. Um, their water started freezing, so I knew I was going to have to change over to um, like the Rubbermaid plastic water dishes. And I knew that that was not going to be good enough because Duncan likes to just throw everything everywhere. If it's not nailed down, he's going to destroy it. Um, Penelope, not so much. She will tolerate things and leave things alone. Look at this fat boy over here. You chilling, Duncan? Like your new space? Hmm? So I, I moved his cage around a little bit. Let me turn you guys around. So I moved his cage around a little bit. Um, I just, I don't know why I put his stuff on that side. I um, saw that he was using his crate uh, he had some poop inside his crate, whatever, so I cleaned it out or whatever, and I flipped it to a different side so that it wouldn't smell like litter. And then I moved it to the other side, and now he's got all this space over here on this side, which I think he likes better. Because he never laid like that on the other side. And it's probably because he has all his food and stuff on this side. So if I keep all of his things on one side, then he's got like a kind of more of an open space there. Um, plus he likes to lay next to Penelope. I was kind of hesitant about moving his box, his crate on the other side. Because I know that he likes to lay on top, like right next to her. And they like to lay right next to each other. But... I just, I needed his, I needed his crate on the other side. Good morning. Good morning, Duncan. Good morning, Duncan. So, this is the water dish. Obviously, it's totally empty. And he keeps taking it out. Of this and this holder I have it in now I was watching Farmstead Smith ironically enough her name's Adrian like my name is Adrian um, and she was making these nesting boxes with Dollar Tree bins like dish tubs and the concept was genius she used two of them. Okay, the first one gets nailed down. And then the second one goes inside of that one to hold it in place. And I thought, wow, that is genius. I can do that with Duncan's water dish. So what I'm going to probably do is I'm going to secure this one down and then use a different one to put the water in and then put it inside of here. That way, um, it'll hold it in place better. And we'll try that. Because this just is not working. And he wakes up every morning with no water. Ain't that right, boy? Hmm? Got you no water in here. So, let me get him some water. Need some water, Duncan? Hmm? Yeah, some water. You thirsty? 
Hey, boy. Hey. You thirsty? Hmm? You thirsty? So I haven't, I have not changed Penelope's water just yet. Um, hers doesn't seem to be freezing as much as his does. And I think it's probably because hers is towards the back of the cage and there's more um, insulation back there maybe. But um, his was freezing up more than hers was. So I haven't changed hers just yet. But I will, when I do his, I'm going to do hers too. And um, that way I just get it out of the way. I'm going to load her up on some hay. Today's Saturday. And sometime between Monday and Wednesday, she's supposed to have her kits if she's pregnant. Hey, big girl. She looks like she's just relaxed in there. I just disturbed her. Sorry, baby girl. Sorry. She was laying down on her stomach. So. I will load her up on hay today and that way she can start to make a nest if she needs to. Okay, so another thing I have to do, I have to harvest this manure. Hers is totally full. Let's see, you can see down in there. Um, her bucket is like overflowing down there. She's so full. So I'm going to go ahead and harvest all of that manure and empty out her bucket, empty out Duncan's bucket, make it start fresh. Um, basically what I'm doing is keeping the feed bags. I'm going to keep the feed bags and I'm going to use those to fill up for the manure. So both of those buckets should probably just about fill that bag. Use pajama pants on. Left them at my house. So don't judge me because I'm in my pajamas. So it's about half full, about up to right here. So, and now they're empty, ready to refill. Hey girl. Hey Penelope.
Duncan, what are you doing? Look like you're going potty over there. What are you doing, boy? Hmm? What are you doing? All right, so the only thing I have left to do now is to get them some hay, especially Penelope, because she's going to need a lot of hay to make her nest if she is pregnant. Um, and we should start seeing her pulling fur very soon. So um, other than that, that's about it for today. Till next time. Bye, guys.